Right, that's it. Oi, I'm done with you being a prick to everyone. Ooh. So, either I beat up an old man, or I let an old man beat me up. Fuck it, let's go. <laughs> Tell these boys what the first rule of my fight club is. No fight club! No fight club, okay? You understand? For the love of Pistol Pete, y'all, we still got a second half to play. Now, please, sit down, everybody. Gaffer saved you, old man. Call me old. One more time. Sorry. Granddad. A fucking oh, oh, this happens in real life. You better believe it. You know, when you look inside a locker room, there's a lot of ego, there's a lot of energy, everyone's very competitive, so it's not uncommon for athletes to go at it every once in a while. Now, there's a lot of different ways to deal with this. It depends on the situation. In this situation, Jamie's being a dick. But here's the deal. When I get into a room of very competitive people, it's about channeling that energy towards victory, towards the common goal, towards where you're going. I think that's something that Ted does throughout the course of the show and the three seasons. I think it's important to remind athletes and to remind workers, to remind anybody on their team, when you feel passionate about something, that energy might be directed the wrong way. It's the job of the leader to redirect that energy towards the direction you want it to go. A lot of times I'll tell my athletes in a negative situation that I like that they have a lot of energy, that I like that they're very competitive because it means that they care and it means that they wanna win. Again, we just have to change the polarity of that energy from negative to positive towards our goal and not away from it. I have been in locker rooms where everyone gets along and everything's hunky-dory and you know what? They become very mediocre teams. The ability to have athletes to push each other and be competitive with each other is really essential if you want to win. It's up to the leader or the coach to harness that energy and make sure that it's going in the right direction so victory is possible. I think when you look over the course of the show, Roy and Jamie, Ted was able to harness them both into being better versions of themselves and therefore they were able to get along with each other and find a way forward. I hope the best for you as well in your endeavors, because I believe in you. You should too.